this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing a Top 5 Wednesday video. It is not... I'm not actually doing the topic that is scheduled for today. I'm doing an older one just because I couldn't really think of anyone for today. So the Top 5 Wednesday one I'm doing is Top 5 Friendships. So these aren't in any particular order. Um, I'm just going to say them, how I wrote them down, how they came to mind. So the first one is no surprise to anybody is a Tamora Pierce friendship. It is from Protector of the Small, and that is Neil and Caladry. Now Caladry, in and of herself, is one of my favorite characters from Tamora Pierce, and her series is actually my favorite. And I just kind of love the dynamic between Neil and Caladry. Neil is 15 when he starts his knighthood training. Caladry is 11. So it's kind of that interesting juxtaposition of him being so much older, having seen a little bit more of the world. He was studying to be a mage at the university in Tortal, so he starts really late. Their personalities complement some all. Kel is a very... she speaks very little, not that she doesn't have a lot to say, but she just holds all her words inside until she knows it'll have the biggest impact almost. And then Neil just kind of talks all the time and he's very sarcastic and dry. And it's just really interesting how Kel always gets Neil to think about things and how they affect each other. And I absolutely love it. My next favorite friendship is from the Poison Study series, or the Study series by Maria V. Schneider. Um, the ones I'm talking about are the first three, so it's Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study. That is Yelena, Ari, and Jenko. So Yelena is on, well, next up for death row, so she's next to be executed basically, and something happens to the commander's old poison taster, so she becomes the new one. And in the process, ends up befriending Ari and Jinko. So Ari and Jinko are part of the commander's army, or League of Fighters, I don't remember what they're called in the book. Um, and Yelena wants to learn to kind of protect herself, and Ari and Jinko kind of take her under her wing. And Ari and Jinko, of themselves, are just a great friendship. They very, they complement each other really well. Absolutely love them. I mean, I ship them pretty hard. I don't know if they're actually together, but in my head they are. And they're just kind of like Yelena's bigger brothers. Like, they're teasing her all the time. They push her harder. They have no issue teaching her, even though she's technically a criminal. And it's just... I absolutely love them. Another one of my favorites is Sarah Gill, Alec, and Kali from the Night Runner series. I have talked a little bit about Sarah Gill and Alec before as like one of my favorite male-male couples, and I just love their individual relationships with Kali. Kali is one of the princesses in line, princesses in line for the throne, except for she's a little bit further down, so she's like actually the commander, or one of the commanders of the army. And they're just, well like Alec and Sergal are just so much fun by themselves, but just to see that just pose with her and how they work together to kind of protect the realm is really awesome. And how deeply they feel for each other. One of my favorite friendships is a newer friendship from one of the books that I actually just reviewed on my channel. It's Kissy and Jenks from The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I just, they are both like engineers and contacts and I just love how they're able to kind of understand how each other thinks. Like they get each other just on a like deeper level than like, they understand how their brains process things each other's brains so they're able to kind of figure things out with each other and it's just fun to see. I mean Kissy's a very fun character in general. And my last, at least for the top five Wednesday, my last favorite friendship is also a Tamora Pierce one. It is from the Circle series so that is Briar, Daja, Triss, and Sandry. It was really hard for me to kind of separate them just because the Circle series so it goes to the Circle series, the Circle opens, and then the Circle reforged. So in the Circle series, they actually grow up together. So they're very much like siblings, and they act like it, and I absolutely love that. When the Circle opens, they kind of all go their separate ways with their mentors to learn new things. And so in the Circle reforged, it's them coming together. And honestly, the Circle reforged series is, or part of the series, is my favorite. Just because they're so much older, and they've all gone through such different life, different life experiences. And yet they're still friends and they're still brothers and sisters and it just shows how you can still connect to people after such long periods of time and how 
the family you choose can still be your family. Like, it doesn't... Like, everyone says that, like, the... So it's just, it's really interesting because, like, in the Circle series, it's more like they're thrown together by circumstance. And in the Circle of Forge, they do actually make the effort eventually to come back together and be friends. And that they have, while they might have had different experiences and they're all de dealing with different things, they can still empathize and connect with each other. And I just love how it, how it shows that you're still able to connect to friends that you might have not seen for years on end. After reading these off and kind of talking about them, I noticed that all of my friendships are basically male female friendships, which I mean I really absolutely love just because I love when they have those friendships instead of it turning into a romantic couple. But I, I, it makes me really curious if that's just because those are the friendships I'm drawn to or if that's because there's very few friendships or very few female female friendships in fantasy novels. And I guess that's something I'm going to be on the lookout for. And maybe I'll do an updated video about my favorite female female friendships. But just it makes it it's very interesting that even in young adult and like something that from an author that I do consider who writes pretty diversely that there are not that many female fe female friendships, even though three of the four main characters are female. I don't know. It's just kind of an interesting thought. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now.